All right, guys, me and Isaac are going to show you how to properly remove a P7100 injection pump from a 12 valve. What year is this truck? 98. A 98. That's that's a very desirable truck, five-speed truck, I can tell. And it's got the 215 pump, especially if it's a five-speed. I cut my teeth on these things, man. This is one of my favorite platforms. That's what I started with. You know, I P-pumped my 24 valve back in the day, so I had to learn all this stuff. I didn't go to school originally for it, so I learned it as I went. But I learned this trick. From going to, from from online classes and books on the Cummins engine, I'll show you real fast. So you know I love these engines. This is the engine I started on, man. These 12 valves, 24 valves, and I can tell you, I know them inside and outside. I know how to make power, but I also know the proper procedures on removing the pump. And like this thing here, this is a dinosaur, but they're still beasts. I mean, this is a tough engine. This is actually out of a 1998, very desirable year model. Um, we're going to show everybody how to set them, or pin time them, and remove the pump without letting it slip time. Them. And the, the thing that's funny with these is it doesn't have a keyway on the gear, so it's actually a press fit. So the tighter the nut, that's what holds the timing. When we make big power, we'll keyway the gear and put an adjustable gear on it. So on this one here, tell me what you've done. All right, so I've set the motor at TDC using the timing marks on the crank and cam gear. But what I tell you, you got to do first. Uh, break the nut loose on the Yep, you got to break the nut loose, get it loose, so that whenever you are trying to, you're not you're not going to break your tab. That's what I tell people. When you when you hold the engine with that, yeah. you try to break the nut loose, it's going to break that time that timing pin out inside the engine. So that's that's how you probably do it. You break it loose first. It's not going to it's not going to slip timing yet. We'll, we'll put it back at TDC, pin that, push this pin back in, make sure it's locked in, and we're going to break this loose. Basically, you lock the timing pin in, and you retard the engine back. However many degrees you want to advance the timing. It's easier to do that than try to advance the pump itself. So we're going to see if this pump's ever been timed. You also can put a dial indicator on your number one barrel, your delivery valve, see where it's injecting timing at onto, you know, versus TDC. So you'll see if it's 15 degrees, 19 degrees, 20 degrees, 25 degrees, depending on injector size and compression, what turbo size you're running. The higher the timing, the lazier the engine is on the bottom end, but the more power it makes on the top end. So you got to kind of find your happy medium with these old dinosaurs. Especially, you know, they don't have variable timing. You can't control timing. It's all mechanical and it's static. Pull this out. we going to look a little oil out just like that. That's nasty. You see this slot? What you do is you find, make sure it's lined up. You'll stick it in there. And on the outside of that, let me get it better. You see right there, you see that key? Mm -hmm. You have that horizontal like that. So I'm going to do is get the phone light. There you are. Look in there, you see the pin? It's a slot, looks like a yeah. flathead screwdriver Perfectly sticking back horizontal. at you. So, you know, run this in here like this. You'll take that, perfectly horizontal. You can always line this like that. You're going to find it like that. So you might have to bump the engine in. We're just a touch retarded on the timing. So you can take this, bump the engine over just a touch. See it pop in then? Right there, done. We're locked in. I always just tap it like that. Put this back on here just to keep it from falling out. Remove these two bolts, these 415s. Use a steering wheel puller, pop the gear off the can of the, right. of the uh, pump shaft. And that's a day. Pump's timed. To remove it when you go back together it's already set for timing you put the engine pdc reinstall the pump and like i said then we can re advance it go from there but we know this pump's never been the timing is factory uh we can see what it's been set at 13.5 degrees I, was, I said 14 earlier but it's in that area so 